everyone. So as promised, I'm here today with the review of the Sensation Nail Kit. And I've had this for over a month and I've used it a lot. And I've kind of been putting off making this video because I wanted to be totally sure about what I wanted to say and what my opinions on this were because it's a very kind of complicated, um, I've had a very complicated experience with it is what I was trying to say and I wanted to just share with you my thoughts on it and give you a little bit of information about it. I was sent this to review but as always totally honest um, review and I'll just get right to it. So the first thing is this is what the kit looks like. Obviously mine's been open so it looks a little bit messy but the kit kind of comes like this and you get... Um, the little UV light which looks like this, this is really cool because it's really compact and it kind of just plugs in and then you pop your hands in and it's really really easy to use so that's really cute. And then you get um, a couple of nail polishes, I got a few just because it was um, a PR sample but I think generally you get two colours and then the top coat and base coat so that's kind of what the colours would look like. Then you get a little instruction leaflet. Do read the instruction leaflet because I didn't the first time properly and you really need to kind of know what you're doing so make sure you read that. Then you get this little pack of lint-free wipes and orange sticks to kind of push things back. The lint-free wipes are really really useful. Don't kind of try and use your own because it will end up being messy. And then you also get um, the primer which is the gel primer which looks like this. The Sensational Gel Cleanser and the top coat, which is this one. No, it's not, that's the color. Let me find the top coat, oh, here it is. The base and top coat, gel and base top coat, which looks like this. So you get those and you also get a little um, nail file, which is really important because you need to kind of file your nails down so you've got a slightly more um, rough surface for the nail polish to kind of cling to. Then once you start using it, I will say that I don't like using this on my hands. I've used it once on my hands and I just didn't get on with it. I think this is a fantastic, fantastic kit for using as kind of pedicure because your pedicure always lasts um, longer anyway, but I like my pedicure to always look really, really shiny and that's the main problem that I have. It loses its shine very, very quickly and starts to kind of look dull and not as pretty and I hate that. I like kind of my toenail polish to look really, really shiny and lovely. So using this first, what you need to do is you just need to plug this into the socket pop it in. I'm not going to do a kind of full demonstration of this because as I said I could only really do it with my hands and I don't like using it with my hands and I will explain why. But you just plug it in to um, the socket, turn it on, you've got an on and off button here and you pop your hands in it. So you pop your hands in it, let it cure for the first time is 30 seconds, then you let um, the colour cure for 60 seconds and then you do another base coat and let that cure for 30 seconds. It beeps and it lets you know. It kind of beeps once at 30 seconds and then beeps another time at 60 seconds. So you basically put it in once and remove at the first beep, put it in again, remove at the second beep, take it out and then put it in again and remove at the first beep. So you, that's really easy. It's not confusing at all. It doesn't feel hot or anything. It's very, very easy to use. So you want to make sure that your nails are completely, completely clean um, and kind of file them down. Go over them with the little nail polish file first, push your cuticles back, really do some serious cuticle work before because if you get this on your cuticles it's very very messy. Then you want to apply um, some of the gel cleanser, so use one of these lint free wipes, put the cleanser on and clean your nail and then apply the primer and you let the primer um, dry on its own for about 30 seconds, I usually leave it about a minute and then apply a coat of the um, base coat, the base coat is very thick and it's very shiny, it's lovely and then cure that and then choose whatever colour you like. So the colours I've got here um, are, I've got four different colours, the first one is raspberry wine which is my favourite, I believe this is one of the standard colours that comes with a kit, then I've got the taupe tulips colour. It's kind of, you can't see them obviously the colour because they come in this type of packaging. I think that's just to preserve it so there's not much you can really do about that. Pink chiffon which is a nice pink and um, dusk till dawn which is a nice vampy colour. I've used every single one of these apart from the taupe tulips one. I haven't used that one yet because obviously it lasts so long that I haven't needed to. But I have, as I said, done this on my hands and I didn't get on with it on my hands. I felt like it chipped quite easily no matter what I did. And the main issue I have, and this is something that's very interesting because when you read the information, um, they do claim that it 
if the res they claim the result is a high gloss damage proof manicure with mirror finish, no chipping, lifting or cracking for up to 14 days and easily removed in minutes with an acetone nail polish remover. I don't agree with the removal process. I think the removal process is very, very, very difficult and not something that I would do on my hands. I feel like on my toes it's not as bad because I feel like the nails on your toes are thicker anyway but when I used it on my hands to get it off it was an absolute mission and it really really damaged my nails um, because the acetone removal method where you kind of use the little bowl didn't really work and then I did the method where they suggest you use tin foil that didn't really work either and I ended up just kind of picking it off and it really really damaged my nails so I wouldn't use this on my hands and I don't ever really have a problem with nail polish not lasting on my hands and chipping and I like kind of being able to change it a couple of times a week anyway so that's not too much of a problem for me personally but it is something that you want to be aware of if you um, do want to use this on your hands which I'm sure most people would. I think this is a fantastic kit and it's really worth the money for pedicures because it retails at £69 which is expensive but you get everything you need and then you can just build your collection from there. I know a lot of people like to kind of sandwich um, regular nail polish in between it. You can do that, the trick is to just let it dry for a really really long time and you don't always know when your nail polish is 100% dry so it can be a little bit confusing and a little bit difficult. But I feel like um, the removal process is the biggest downfall of this program and if it was just you know you could remove it very very easily with no problem at all I would definitely definitely recommend it completely but the removal process is so difficult that for me it just wasn't really something that I wanted to do on a regular basis and it really damaged my nails and my nails are quite brittle anyway um, and you don't kind of you can see like I've got regular nail polish on now and the kind of problem I always get is they start to dull down they don't look as shiny after a couple of days and I've probably had this on for about I put it on on Saturday and today is Wednesday. So I have had it on for a few days. It hasn't chipped or anything, but it's just starting to wear down. That doesn't happen with the gel nail polish. It looks very, very shiny for a really long time, which I absolutely love. And wearing that on my toes is perfect because you can kind of do it once a month and it won't chip and it won't come off and it's very, very easy. All that happens is you might get kind of a little bit of regrowth, but that's fine. That doesn't particularly bother me. So I would give this kit kind of like a seven out of 10 because I think it is fantastic. I think the value for what you're getting is very good. And it's a great kit that's very, very quick and very easy to use. My only problem is the removal process is just very, very difficult. If they came out with some sort of remover that just took it off, I know they do sell a separate removal kit that kind of has like a little um, tool that you help to kind of scrape it off and things. It's just too abrasive for my nails and I feel like it just wouldn't be something that I would um, use on a regular basis at all. Maybe if I was going on holiday or something I might but even then I don't know if I would. But definitely on my toes I think it's amazing so 7 out of 10 from me and I would really recommend it as a Christmas present for somebody who enjoys nail polish but I just want you to know that the removal process is very difficult and most of the reviews I've seen have spoken about it and said, you know, it's amazing, blah, 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 but no one ever seems to mention the removal process and that for me was the biggest downfall. It was a complete, complete mission. So I do really, really like this kit. I don't like the removal process. That's kind of the conclusion of this video. But I wanted to get this review up because so many of you were asking me my thoughts about it. So there are my thoughts. I would love, love to know your experience with this and how you got on with it and how you found the removal process to be. And I will see you all in my next video. I'll put all the information down below so you can go and check it out if you want to. And I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.